I promise you this is not a gimmick. You can actually batch create an entire month's worth of Instagram posts inside of Canva in just a few hours. You can do this with a few couple tips and tricks and a more efficient workflow and system to batch creating your content. And I just want you to think about a couple of things before we dive into this tutorial when it comes to batch creating, because I know you've heard this term before and it might feel overwhelming. Maybe you've even tried it in the past and you think that that is just way too much content to create in one sitting. And listen, I get it. I understand exactly where you're coming from. But there are some huge pros to batching your content and really nailing down this style of content creation workflow, especially when it comes to your time as a small business owner. Batching is going to help you maintain consistency when it comes to posting on social media. It's one of the most efficient ways to actually create content to market your small business. And once you get the routine of it down, it's actually going to save you so much time in the long run so that you don't have to worry about content creation day in and day out, and you can actually focus your limited amount of hours on your actual business. And overall, I would argue that it's a stress reducer because you're not having to worry about what you're going to post every morning when you wake up. It's already going to be predetermined for you. You already worked on it, and you don't have to worry about showing up on social media that day and trying to figure out exactly what you're gonna post. So let's dive right into the tutorial. Okay, so the first part of this is we're gonna really wanna set up our Canva workspace because this is going to help us create content more effectively and way faster and easier. So the first thing that you need to do is come over into the brand tab. And yes, you do need to upgrade to Pro. I highly recommend it, it is so worth it. And you're going to add all of your branding elements. So for me, I have all my logos, all of my colors, all of my fonts. I have my brand voice in case you want to use AI tools to kind of help you write certain things. Any photos, patterns, graphics, whatever this looks like for your brand, I recommend you upload it all into here because then you're not having to go into like Google Drive and download your logo every time or try and find it on your computer. It's all easily accessible in here. And along with that, this is an extra step that you guys could totally do. I have brand templates set up and basically what these are inside a uh, Canva design, I can simply click on my brand template and here's all of my reels covers that I've created all in different colors and I can quickly and easily, like in literal minutes, create reels covers because these are my standard ones that I always use, always go to. I have the same thing set up for my Instagram carousels. Um, I need to go in and update some of these, but you can see like, this is what all my Instagram carousels look like. I have three different styles and it just makes the content creation process so much faster if I'm using the same thing over and over and over again. So once you have your brand kit set up, now we need to think about our folder organization here. So you can see I have them all starred on the side, but what this looks like, we're going to look at your folders. These are my main folders. You can set these up however you want. I set them up in order of priority and I label them with like zero one dot so that they show up in order. So I have a folder of brand assets. I have a whole folder for social media. Campaigns are my sales campaign. You get the gist here. The one I recommend everybody have is an archive folder so that anything you're not using anymore, you can drag and drop it in there. And so it doesn't kind of clutter up your Canva feed. And essentially what I like to do is inside each of these folders, I create as many subfolders as I need. I am a stickler for some organization. Um, and to have them show up on the sidebar there, all you have to do is star them and star them in order. So I will have multiple different subfolders in here. I will have anything that is super important pinned. Like, so for instance, you can see I have content dating back to, with this specific organization system, back to 2021. So 2021, 2022, 2023, and then I have 2024 as well, and I have that pinned to the top. And it's as easy as you just right click on this and you pin it. Again, I know this seems ridiculous. And you're like, Amber, I'm here for batch creating content. By organizing your Canvas space, it's going to make the next part of the process so much easier. And because let me show you one last thing when it comes to your folders, you need to have all of your visual assets inside of Canva. So just like how we set up the brand kit, I wanna kind of show you, I have any video that I would need in the content creation process. A lot of this is my B-roll, behind the scenes, whatever that looks like, organized into folders as well. So I have multiple different folders in here. So I'm not always just like sending these from my phone so I can create a graphic in Canva. So I have a, a folder full of videos of me posing recently, any um, type of vlog style that I've created. So compilations, meaning like this is kind of what they look like um, when I have clips put together. This is so easy for me to grab and create reels content inside of Canva or stories content or anything like that. So that's another tip is to have all of your visual assets inside of Canva because it'll make 
again, the next part of the process way easier. Now to get into the actual batching portion, we need to go into our social media folder. Um, let's just say I'm gonna pick a month that's a little further out. Um, we'll do like June. You see how I have a different design for everything that I create for the month for social media. We're going to basically set those up. Okay, so we'll come into June and basically want to start creating our different designs here. So we will add a new design for Instagram Reels and that'll open it up in news design and we'll want to rename this Instagram Reels. And then we will come over here, add new design, and then we will do Instagram and we'll have the feed post. We'll do post portrait. And then same thing here, we will come up in here, Instagram feed. First things first, you're going to want to preload your designs. So this is where those branded templates are going to come into place. So let's say I want to create a carousel, this style carousel first. We'll go here, we'll go here. You will just keep adding that and see how this is, again, why the branded templates are so important. You design them once and use them over and over again. So that now we have everything loaded in here. And I personally like to name each of these. So this will be June 1st, because again, this is just, it's one more step to keep things organized. It's gonna help in the downloads process, things like that. Then you will just go out and build out the entire month. You can go and label this and then you can do the same thing with your reels. We'll do, this will be like June 3rd and repeat the process over and over again. We'll, let's say we'll drop in this and you'll load all of that up. Now you can also come into like, let's say in here and you wanna try something new. You don't want to design from scratch, you can totally use Canvas templates. But I want to give you guys a little bit different of a perspective and a tool that I absolutely love to use. And it's actually going to be the monthly content packs from your template club. So instead of having to create content from scratch, which you can totally do, and you can still totally batch everything that you need to for the entire month, I recommend that you guys come into your template club. You can get access to so many different Canva templates, but specifically these monthly content packs are going to help you so much. So let's say you wanna work on May. We're going to open the feed post, use template for new design. We will do the same thing for the reels and stories, use template for new design. And as you can see in these template packs, when we open this up, everything is done for you. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to customize this. And this is gonna save you even more time. So what we will do is we can kind of just move this here. You always want to file this away, so save to folder. Again, this is why the organization of your stuff is so important. We'll come into the 2024 social media content. This is going to go into, where is May? Sometimes it doesn't put it in alphabetical order. And then you would do the same thing for Reels. Now, I want to show you how to customize these. So basically what we're going to come in here and do is you see how this is the templated color palette. You can add your colors. There's two options that you guys can do here. Um, the first one being, uh, you would come in here, see how that one's locked. What we're gonna wanna do is switch this out with our brand colors. This is where that brand kit is key. So I'm gonna switch that light color to my light color and click change all. And then we would do the same thing with the dark color. Select that, click this and click change all. You will do the same with all of your different accent colors and we will switch all of those. Same thing here, we'll click on that, make sure that color is selected and change all. You'll go through that process and when you open this back up, you can start to see that your branding has been applied. And this is again, such a time saver when it comes to creating content. Now let's say you've come to one and you're like, okay, cool, this looks great. Not all the colors kind of transformed. Let's use this styles tab. And what you can do is you can click on this here and since my brand kit is set up, we can simply just shuffle through until we get a look that we like. That's about as close as I think we're gonna get there. I might just change this back to white, that's perfect. Again, because we have that brand kit set up, it is so easy to come in here. I'm like, okay, this is where I want my logo to be. This one's not gonna work because um, that's actually a different file type. We will just switch this to a color and I'll put my logo on top of there. That'll be perfect, something like that. And again, you'll go through each of these processes and then you'll see something like we can easily switch out the background. Again, why it is so important for you guys to have all of your digital assets in here because this is taking me minutes. That's that's an Instagram piece of content right there that I just created in front of your eyes in literally 30 seconds. We might adjust this a bit more. And then I would come in here and edit the prompt. We'll add in my name, Amber Finglo. Here we go. And then my handle. All of this is done for you, which is absolutely insane and makes the content creation process just that much easier. Along with that, there are different caption templates that even if you don't use a monthly content pack, two options here, you can share this on socials straight from Canva. 
um, write your caption. You can schedule it if you have the pro plan or what you can do is you can write your caption in the comments here and that's gonna make it so much easier as you're batching, as you're planning your content, everything's all in one place. And as you can see, I would work my way through this entire pack, easily just coming in here and customizing as I see fit. Cool, that post is done. I would come in here and let's add this in. I could do, and then move things around to make sure they fit properly. This is your reminder too. And then I would put in my own setting to repurpose all of your Instagram content. Cool. We move on to the next post. But as you can see, now I can get done with an entire month's worth of content as soon as possible. A couple of hours, I can play around or I can just like literally use it as it is. This carousel right here, I might even just leave as is. Who knows? You know what I mean? This one, I would probably leave as is once I filled in the text. I'm not gonna adjust that. Same thing here. I would just swap out my photo because I am a personal brand. So I would easily just put this one in here. We would go in, remove the background kind of adjust this a bit as that's doing that. And that's it, it's, it's as simple as that. And the more that you organize your Canva and simplify this process, the easier it's going to be for you to create content. Batching truly is the way to go when it comes to creating Instagram content for your small business in Canva. So I want you to try this system out for yourself. And if you want that little extra boost, that little extra bit of help, I want you to try out the monthly content packs inside of your template club. You guys can find it at the link in the description below. And otherwise, I will see you next week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.